Welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm glad you could join me because today we are going to do another colloquial short stories. Uh, and if you have not seen this kind of video, I make up a little short story in English using idioms and other cool American colloquialisms. Say that five times fast. Colloquialisms, colloquialisms, colloquialism, colloquialism. And then I explain the meaning in plain, simple English. And this will help you understand what native English speakers really mean. Ready? Let's do this. Keep an eye out for my green jacket. I could have sworn I put it in my backpack, but I guess I must have left it at school. I turned the place upside down, but still no luck. All right, okay, so in the first sentence, I use the phrase, keep an eye out. Keep an eye out just means help me look for. So for example, you can say, keep an eye out for my wallet. I think I dropped it. Keep an eye out for a nearby bathroom. I really have to pee. Hey, keep an eye out for my friend. She's looking for us. And you can also use it as a response. If your friend says, uh, I'm looking for my phone. I think I left it in the car. Then you can say, I'll keep an eye out for you. All right, so in the next sentence, I use the phrase could have sworn. You can use this phrase whenever you are mistaken or you thought incorrectly. For example, I could have sworn I left my bag on the table, but uh, I guess it's not there. I could have sworn I turned the lights off, but they're still on. I could have sworn I read that book before, but I don't remember what it's about. Or you can also use the format, I swear. I swear I left my bag on the table. So basically, I swear or I could have sworn just means I thought. All right, and finally, we're at the last sentence already. You guys are almost done. I use the phrase, I turn the place upside down. Now, this is a funny phrase you can use when you looked everywhere for something, but you still couldn't find it. I dropped my favorite pen in the car. I turned the place upside down, but I couldn't find it. Oh, my mom used my computer and then didn't put it back. So then I turned my apartment upside down looking for it. So one good way to remember this is if you got really, really frustrated and you've just looked everywhere for something, you get so mad you just want to take a room and turn it upside down and shake it and hope the item comes out that you're looking for. All right, and the last phrase I use, no luck. That just means didn't work. I was unsuccessful. But especially in situations where you need to be a little lucky. I tried to ask my boss for a vacation, but no luck. My boyfriend tried to get me tickets to the concert, but no luck, they were sold out. My friend and I went fishing this morning, but uh, no luck, we didn't catch anything. So I asked this cute ass girl out today, but no luck. She said I was ugly. Oh my God, my life is over. All right, that's it. Those are all the phrases. Now that you know what all these phrases mean, Let's hear the story again. Keep an eye out for my green jacket. I could have sworn I put it in my backpack, but I guess I must have left it at school. I turned the place upside down, but still no luck. Don't worry if you didn't get them all right. You can just rewatch the video again. Oh, and of course, how could I forget the almighty quiz? All right, that was pretty fun. I hope you guys learned something new today. Get out of here.